hey, shout out to the boxing world. If you're a boxing fan, then you're definitely anticipating this fight tomorrow between Devin Haney and Lomachenko. May the best man win. Um, I made a video some weeks back. Not so much giving a prediction, but just kind of speaking on the strengths and weaknesses of each fighter and what both fighters have to do to win and be victorious. But I'm going to give a prediction today on the eve of the fight. Now, before I give my prediction, I have to say this. And now, don't I don't want you to think that my prediction is based off what I'm about to talk about right now because I've already had my mind made up weeks back on who I think has a slight edge in this fight. Now, during the weigh-in, both congratulations to both fighters. They both made weight. And uh, they both look ready. Devin looked the same way he looks, you know, looks ready, confident, and excited for the fight. Loma, Loma looks fit, looks confident, and very calm. Now, after the weigh-in, they had to face off. And the face-off didn't even last that long. I don't know what animosity, what anger, what tensions Devin Haney has towards Lomachenko, but what he did to Lomachenko was very, very uncalled for and unacceptable. I don't care who you are, what your background is, what your race is. I'm a realist, and I feel like that was like just extra for nothing. Like Loma didn't say nothing. He was he had a smile on his face. And he was just looking looking at you just like you were looking at him. Just like what you're supposed to do during a face-off. <clears throat> and I want to say the face-off lasted maybe not maybe 10 seconds, if that. But you could see Devin Haney barking a little bit. He said a couple of words. Loma didn't say nothing. He's just smiling like. And then you push the shit out of him. It was like Big Baby Miller pushing Anthony Joshua when Anthony Joshua was just was just there as the you know to face off. I can't rock with that right there, you know. Devin Haney, you 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 better be careful, bro. Because now you done gave Lomachenko a little more fuel to, to his fire. You gave him a little more to look forward to when this fight comes. If Devin Haney used that as a uh, intimidation tactic, he failed miserably, horribly. That was a very, very immature thing to do. There was no reason and no excuse to do what he did. Pushing the shit out of Loma. Loma is not a violent person. He's not a disrespectful person. I would see if it was maybe it was like Tiafimo Lopez. That's understandable because Tiafimo, he he runs his mouth. And sometimes he don't know when to shut it down. But Lomachenko, bro, first you first you accuse Lomachenko of being a dirty fighter, which nobody can think of when Lomachenko was dirty. And then you shove him like he. Says something about your mama or something, dog. But anyway, as far as the fight is concerned, although Devin Haney has the height, the reach, and the belts, I think he is underestimating Loma. I think he thinks that Loma is going to fight Devin Haney. Excuse me, I, I feel like Devin Haney fight is Devin Haney feels like Loma's gonna fight him 
the same way he fought Teofimo Lopez. Cautious, you know, don't want to be too trigger happy because he's, he's worried about the power and all that stuff. I mean, let's be real here. Devin Haney's not known for his power. He's known for for being accurate. He's known he's known for putting his hands together. But as far as like him having knockout power, nah, bro, nah. Lomachenko has some superior boxing skills, and if you look at his. Okay, maybe his last fight was a struggle. Most recent fight, I believe. But when Teofimo's on, I mean, excuse me, when Lomachenko's on his A game, he's a dangerous fighter. Just boxing alone, Loma can outbox you. He can outpoint you. You know, whatever. He can take away your greatest asset, your greatest weapon, and use it against you. And I really feel like Devin Haney really messed up with the way he disrespected Loma at the weigh-in. But my prediction is I, I give Loma the slight edge. And if Devin Haney don't be very, very careful, he's going to get knocked out. Not because of what he did in the weigh-in, but because of what Loma has the ability to do. Now, just because I favor Loma over uh, Devin Haney, that doesn't mean that I favor him as the the top guy in the division. I still feel like if, if he fought Sh Shakur Stevenson, I think Shakur Stevenson will wash him. Well, I'm not going to say he's going to wash him, <clears throat> but I think Shakur Stevenson, is, he's just a little too skilled for Loma at this point right now. If he was to fight Tank, eh, I don't know. I, I think uh, no, I will favor. I think I will favor Loma over Tank because I don't know if Loma would uh, Loma would allow Tank to really, really, you know, get set and really, really uh, land a flush punch on Loma. Loma moves so much. All he got to do is just use angles on Tank. Tank is is a very, very skilled boxer as well now, but. Loma has a lot of a lot of experience. And even though they tried to great white hype him in the beginning and overhype him and overrate him, and they try to take away his O. Oh, excuse me, they, they yeah, they no, they try to take away his loss that he had had at that time, and then try to rank him as undefeated and make him, you know, in the top pound for pounds. I ain't, I ain't gonna ever forget that. Let's be clear. I don't jump nobody's bandwagon. I'm gonna be keep it 100 about what I saw and how they were trying to push Loma in the world of boxing. But at the same time, that, that I'm not taking away from Loma's skills and what he's able to do. Loma can still fight. <clears throat> Loma is still among the top lightweights in, in boxing. He is still the matrix with how he boxes. So Devin Haney, I don't know. I only the only way I see Devin Haney winning this fight is if he actually hurts Loma and gets him up out of there and knocks him out. But I don't see Devin Haney knocking out Lomachenko, and I don't see Devin Haney hurting Lomachenko. And the only reason why I don't see him knocking out Lomachenko, no hurting Lomachenko, because I don't think Devin Haney's going to be able to hit. Lomachenko like he thinks he is. I just think Loma's just going to be in and out, in and out, blocking, and then he's going to start picking his spots. So, I think Devin Haney is underestimating Loma. I'm not a Loma bandwagon jumper. I'm not a Loma fan. I'm just giving my opinion and my prediction about what's going to happen in this fight. But if Devin Haney, if Devin Haney don't be careful, Adrian Broner gonna come out of nowhere and say he got cooked. He got cooked. Loma gonna cook this boy, dog. Cause he's just too fiery, too cocky. 
and too emotional right now. And what he did during the weigh-in was unnecessary. It was just too much. Like, what would you do that for, dog? He didn't say not one word to you. But you got mad because he's, he's, he's looking you in your eye? What was Devin Haney doing prior to the, you know, going to the weigh-in? Why did Devin Haney feel the need to shove Loma like that? Because now it's personal. Devin Haney making it seem like it's some, some personal shit. That some personal issue he has with Loma. Like, you would have thought Loma was Tiafimo. If he was Tiafimo, I would understand. But Loma Chanko? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I mean... Loma was probably already been preparing to unleash, you know, some of his inner hurts and frustrations for what he's been going through and what his people, his his uh, fellow Ukrainians have been going through in Ukraine. But now you really giving this dude ammunition to really, really just unleash, you know. Loma could have been like, you know what, man, I'm not going to try to use that, use, you know, what what's going on in Ukraine as a as a way to take it out on Devin Haney but now you gave them all the reason to do so now so Devin Haney better be very very careful because if he fights him if he fights Devin Haney if Loma fights Devin Haney like he fought Nakatani it's, it's gonna be bad for Devin Haney for real he might end Devin Haney's career so Devin Haney better be, I'll tell you like this before I, I'll, I'll let y'all go I'm out of here Devin Haney better not make one mistake <clears throat> he better be keep his hands his guard tight he better his punch selection better be on point he better not lunge he better not try to get reckless in there don't do that with Loma I'm telling him I'm telling you right now His dad better start talking some sense into him, you know, because that was very classless what he did. That was uncalled for. He didn't have to do that. But since he did what he did, he better be expecting a war tomorrow. Because while Loma's home country, his hometown is at war, he's going to bring that war to the ring. Loma Chenko is going to bring... The Ukrainian war to the ring against Devin Haney. So Devin Haney better be very, very careful and not take Loma lightly. Or it might be an upset. So that's all I'm saying. I get the slight edge to Lom Lomachenko based on his experience, his skill set, and his hunger right now. I'm not saying Devin Haney is not hungry, but Lomachenko, he has a new found hunger. And, and after losing to Teofimo Lopez and having to climb back up the ranks, now you're going to get the best Loma come tomorrow night. So Devin Haney, better lock in, stay focused. He better not be trying to like party tonight and do all this little extra stuff, being all cocky. Because Loma is not Cambosis. Lomachenko, I mean, excuse me. Yeah, Lomachenko is not Cambosis. Lomachenko is a different animal. So, good luck to both fighters. But I'm not feeling what Devin Haney did. It was not cool. It's not a great representation as a professional fighter. So... We'll see you tomorrow.